69, 70, it just slowly got pretty awful. You take Sally, I'll take Sue. There ain't no difference between the two. Cocaine running all around my brain. When we started doing cocaine and heroin and speed as a generation, that essentially degraded the the original spirit that we had in that group of people in, in California to a, a very low level. Uh -huh, mama, come here quick. That old cocaine about to make me sick. Cocaine. And the shift from the one to the other was a, a palpable thing. You could feel more greed, more anger, more craziness, more darkness. In less than a decade, collective optimism had given way to a ruthlessly self-centered culture. And in 1976, with an honesty typical of LA's singer-songwriters, the Eagles captured the mood with an acerbic tribute to a city whose appeal had proved seductive long before the 70s. The whole vision of Hotel California, of finally the pilgrims come to paradise only to find a seedy, broken down hotel on a boring ocean uh, where people are all thinking about suicide. This is a fairly consistent vision. Remember in the 1940s, all the great stars of Weimar cinema and half of Bloomsbury were in Los Angeles, along with a whole generation of American writers. And they ended up rehearsing every possible form of despair and alienation, every kind of delight and euphoria. I had to stop for the night. Everybody can find some part of Los Angeles that can be the bearer either of their dreams or their nightmares. So in a way, the emotional landscape that the rock generation lived in was repeating what the rioters had gone through in the 1920s, veering back and forth between the land of sunshine and the, the land of noir. Welcome to the Hotel California. The Eagles had evolved from a generation of artists whose determination to succeed had brought them to L.A. And in the same year as Hotel California, that ambition reached its ultimate peak when the Eagles released another record that marked the commercial climax of a 10-year journey. People always put out the greatest hits albums. When the bands are in decline, I wanted to put it out when they were at their absolute peak. That album is the biggest selling album of all time. The sales of the Eagles' greatest hits prompted the invention of the platinum record. It was the first in a long line of multi-million selling albums, commercially and musically inspired by Los Angeles. And it marked the end of a journey in which the collective ambition of a tight-knit community of troubadours had turned L.A. into the corporate capital of the music world. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. <laughs> Ruthlessly dissecting American TV, our very own BBC4 misanthrope Charlie Brooker aims his screen wipe at the US tomorrow at 10. This is the story of the 